African artist, Grant Hacking, shares his love of the natural world through his artwork. I just gravitated towards wildlife, and I, I do, I love wildlife. I'm, there's something about seeing an animal I, that is just really stirs your emotions. Grant's oil paintings of wild animals and scenic landscapes are reflective of his upbringing in northern South Africa. He grew up near the border of Zimbabwe. Growing up in, in South Africa, I, wildlife was amazing. I just loved it. I was very lucky as a child. Both my parents were artists. Um, growing, I grew up in a household of painters. My, my mom and dad actually met in art school. From grade school to a stint in the military, Grant painted constantly, never even took an art class. I wound up in the army because it was compulsory in South Africa and they found out I could paint, so they had me painting everything. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just, I've always painted. I've tried real jobs, but nothing else. I just found up back at the easel. So I just figured one day when I was young, I like this, I just should keep doing it. Grant moved to the US at age 22, eventually landing in North Conway, where he lives with his daughters. We caught up with Grant virtually at his home in North Conway. While he may paint the vast landscapes of the world, he does so in his small home studio. Uh, there are paintings all over the place and I tend to trip over my art sometimes, especially when I'm getting ready for uh, the big show. Paintings that reflect the beauty and the wild wonders of his homeland. And on the wall, this favorite, a painting close to his heart, his cat. A self-described cat freak, Grant loves cats of all sizes, especially the sleek and sometimes ferocious felines that prowl the jungles of Africa. And leopards are just beautiful. There's something about a leopard. They're, you know, they're probably one of the numerous, most numerous cats in Africa, but you hardly ever see them because they're usually in a tree and they're nocturnal. So I'm, whenever I'm at in the game uh, reserves, I'm always on the lookout for a leopard. And of course, you know, they're beautiful. The spots are just perfect. So I do love painting them. But what about the so-called king of the jungle or the desert, the male lion? easily recognizable by the thick mane around its head and the fear and awe it instills in man and wildlife. Actually, I don't like them. They're very hard to paint. <laughs> They're really hard to paint. <laughs> what is it? Is it the mane? Um, it's the, the, the coloring. They're, they're the color of grass and they, they really just, they have these very odd little angles to them. They're, they're just tough to do. His research doesn't come without risk, mind you. Grant recalls a face-to-face -face meeting with a lion in Africa that prompted a very quick retreat back to his car. I saw some vultures and I, I got, grabbed my camera and wandered off to go see what, what the vultures were doing. And there was a dead giraffe carcass and the vultures were around it. And I was photographing it. Then I started getting that uneasy feeling that you get. And when I turned around, there was a huge male lion just staring at me. I think it had eaten so much that it couldn't be bothered with me. <sighs> but I, so I tend to make a lot of mistakes. I'm, I'm hoping one day to get eaten by something and then my artwork will be worth a lot more money. <laughs> There's no danger in running into a lion in the White Mountains, but New Hampshire's wildlife can be a bit elusive at times. The forest in, up where I live are so dense and so thick that I can see a bull moose and three seconds after I've seen it, it disappears. Grant paints from pictures. Most of them he takes himself. That elephant, for example, I would have worked from at least four or five images. Um, my settings are always imaginary. Uh, I very seldom work from a specific photo. I love to put in, take a great couple of photographs of an animal and then I'll put it into a scene that I usually is imagination. Um, so it's a combination of using my imagination and having fun with the, with the setting and the, the scene and then working precisely on the, on the animal itself.
I wrote a book recently about growing up and, and painting and I, I, I just had such a lucky and wonderful life. Um, you know, we lived in a part of Africa at a time in Africa where it was very wild. My mother got well, my mother actually chased a leopard in a nightgown once, which was a fun story. <laughs> His mom was armed with a frying pan, and FYI, she won that fight. Leopard beat a hasty retreat. I remember as a kid stopping for lunch at hotels, and we were stopped at this little hotel, and the giraffe came right in through the window and grabbed my toast. And, and it, just lovely memories like that. It was a wonderful way to grow up. I was extremely fortunate. With each stroke, Grant brings his cherished childhood memories to life on canvas. The colors of his youth coming alive. Every single painting I do is unique in one way or another. Um, and it is funny to think that over the years I've painted so many paintings and they're all pretty much one of a kind.